What's up, Mad Scholars? We are doing the second half of the video uh, study guide today. So hopefully you watched the first video if you were absent Friday. Um, today we're doing 8 through the end. Um, 3W plus 6Y squared. Should I do rainbows or the box method? Both would work. All right, so if we want to do rainbows, one thing we have to do is write it out twice. I don't know why that 3W wrote weird, but I'll rewrite it. You have to write it twice. You can't just rainbow in the squared. It doesn't work that way. It's, it would be illegal. So here is our setup. Let's do some rainbows. When you draw the rainbows, are you adding or multiplying? Multiply. Very good. So you end up multiplying the 3 times the 3. But you kind of add the powers. If you have a W and another W, it becomes W squared. There's your first rainbow. Then your next rainbow is outside term to the outside term. Good job, 18WY. And then we do our inside to the inside. And I'm going to write the same way, 18WY. You can write the same way. They both have a W and they both have a Y. And then our last to our last is our last rainbow. Now, if that's not working out for you and you want to draw a box, you can still use the box method. You draw a 2 by 2 box. Yeah? Why would the 6Y times 6Y not be 18Y squared? 6 times 6 is 36, not 18. Or wherever we get uh -huh. Right here, it doesn't become a y squared because there's one w and one y. Nice. Awesome. All right, we're going to combine our two middles, and then they're going to be, what's 18 plus 18? 36? 36. I think. That's weird that there's two 36s in our answer, but I'm pretty sure we're right. All right, I asked the class if they wanted to do box or rainbow, and they said, let's do box, because we did rainbow in the last one. Oh, I yeah. agree. <laughs> Works for me. But if you want to do rainbows, do them. So it's 8x and negative 5y, and 8x and positive 5y. Make sure when you set up your box, you have a negative sign with the 5y on the top. I think that's the biggest thing when people use boxes. They sometimes ignore all the negative signs. You can't do that. So we'll have 64x squared in this box, negative 40xy in this box, positive 40xy in this box, and negative 25y squared in this box. What happens with our boxes that are alike, these two boxes? They add up to what, though? A positive 40 and a negative 40. Yeah. Zero. So they're gone. It's like those two boxes have canceled each other. So it's 64x squared minus 25y squared. <laughs> All right, number 10, there's a question on Polaris that tells you to put something into standard form. What's it mean to put something in standard form, Ken? What it actually means is put the highest term, the highest degree term first, so my negative 7x6 would go first. My positive x to the third would go next. My positive 3x would be next. No, I actually didn't tell you the answer. Never on number 10, never on number 10 does it say put it into standard form. I'm doing this for good practice because it does show up on the polaris portion. And it might show up when you quiz around. Standard form goes from highest degree down to lowest degree. Now, what would be the degree in this one? Good, the highest power. Good, six. What would be the leading coefficient? Nope. Negative 7. It's the guy who's in the lead. It's the guy who's in the lead when you're in standard form. And then do you remember the word constant or not? Constant just means that there's like no variables with that guy. So that would be the negative 5. Huh. Is this going to be on um, I was just thinking, what are some characteristics of monomials? I'm thinking on your test it would say, is this a monomial? Yes, no. Or is this a monomial? True, false. Or what are some characteristics you can look for? Only one term, no negative exponents, and no variables in an exponent position. Can you think of any other things we talked about during that lesson? We talked about monomials, binomials, trinomials. <laughs> All right, so it just looks like we're finding areas. So we're just filling in the Punnett square type shape here. What would be in this box, the area of this box? Three, 
y squared. Good, you multiply the length times the width to get that. And then what would be in this box? Length times width? 21y. So my answer in the blank is 3y squared plus 21y. Hey, so thanks for watching the short part two of our video. Oh, the key word today is jammy pants because it's spirit week and we're all wearing jammy pants.